Hey folks, welcome to this brand new part, part 4 for AWS Certified Security Speciality. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. And there is also an option to join and become a member, which will give you access to additional questions, important ones, which will you know certainly help you with clearing the certifications now let us jump into the questions so the question is asking around encryption keys so in a nutshell they want to know compliance for a regulatory standard so whenever you think about compliance and automatically ensuring compliance is adhered to you got to go to a service which gives you compliance reports so this service this gives you compliance reports in a self-service portal and this is how it works you got to download the reports accept the agreements and these are potential three use cases you can pause this video and read the use cases so this would be my answer now uh, if i look at a like when you read the customer agreement how on earth you are doing an auto compliance you are not right you are just reading it man so this option looks a very silly option and c is even sillier than that because they are saying that you post the question on discussion forums okay so how would that help you with compliance and d like making use of config this will help you audit the configuration of your resources for example ec2 instance what instance type you have used what is the capacity of memory cpu those things so in this question we are not talking about configuration changes see aws config in real life i'll tell you how we use this in the projects is if we want to look or audit who changed the configuration of these ec2 instances when okay and what were the changes made that way we have a history of the changes made to the ec2 instance the reason behind that okay we can dig that that is why we use config here in this question nobody is talking about understanding the historical changes made to a configuration nobody is talking about that we are talking about compliance to the regulatory standards so this would be my final answer so this next question you know i'll explain this you have say multiple ec2 instances and you have a reporting service which sits on top of this one okay so the reporting application runs on these ec2 instances and the logs of this application should be stored centrally somewhere okay so whenever we talk about logs always think of cloudwatch logs in the aws cloudwatch is that central location where we keep logs so it you can use lo, lo, cloudwatch logs to monitor store and access your log files from ec2 so you, please note this from ec2 you can do at cloud trail route 53 and other resources okay and this is very important for our question you can centralize put the logs from all the systems when i was working in the on premises world we used to mimic this since we didn't have a service so we used to mimic this we used to put agents on the compute resources and they used to send the logs to a central uh, computer or a server uh, which where the logs were getting stored so all applications all compute resources used to do that so in the cloud world not much has changed except that they are giving you a central service to do that 
but you still have to log you know put the agents on ec2 instances and then these agents will send the logs to cloudwatch logs just like in premises on premises world we used to you know put these agents on the compute resources it can be servers or anything any servers same you have to do it here also you have to put these agents in the real world this is how it is done agents get deployed agents keep sending the logs at a very uh, low like a high frequency not low frequency high frequency every five minute ten minute it keeps sending the logs to a central location the only change that is happening in the cloud world is you have a service called cloudwatch logs where you can centrally store it for long-term management and analytics perspective okay do you like why do you think we are putting these logs in one place what will you do with that in real life projects we put analytics analytics application on these logs either we take these logs into a database and fire reports of out of it to see if there is a trend does the server uh, get out of cpu or its metrics overshoots every friday night does it happen that way because there is a lot of load running that time if yes then we can see if hey you know what this is the trend the last three uh, failures on the threshold uh, surpass happened because of these jobs running on this time so that means we can put the auto scaling so that the computes more computes are available that time and that is the action we can take from the insights we get from the logs okay now option a is saying that you will write a lambda function that will log into ec2 instance to pull the logs and you would put them in s3 bucket will this work so lambda alone cannot get cross the network borders to get into ec2 see again i'll tell you this thumb rule if you got a mechanism a ready made mechanism that aws provides do not build a custom solution this is something which you are trying to reinvent the wheels not required from a certification standpoint aws wants to check your aws knowledge they do not want to know how creative you can be with a product development no they want to know do you understand cloudwatch logs do you understand that that this service is already at your disposal or you don't understand it and you always try to write some python code and etc and create something on your own see the problem with option b is that it is assuming that cloudwatch logs will receive the application logs from cloud trail see this logging is to understand the user activity the api usage activity when we say we want to take the logs of ec2 instances that means we want to understand details around metrics around usage of ec2 instances we are not looking like which user logged in what what did he try to do he tried to access the database fire few queries we are not looking at that level of information and that is why this would not work because this is not going to give you the ec2 related logs it is going to give you the logs for the users who get seen what is their activity did they access these two apis and what were the apis doing so that kind of information cloud trail is used for not suitable for our scenario now c c is saying that they will write a cron job on ec2 that will synchronize the application logs to an s3 bucket by using rsync you know writing cron job writing python code all of these are a form of customizing writing your custom code why the hell why the hell you will write a custom code when aws has given you a service to be leveraged okay so your certification would be focused on what is available in aws so this 
is my final answer. Now this is a question. Now this question, you know, it is trying to check your knowledge around whether looking at this code, can you make some sense out of it? So you would get some questions at least, like few of them, maybe uh, four or five of them max, where they would try to test your skills around understanding this sort of code and what is the code trying to do. So the first option says that all principles, all principles from all AWS accounts to use the key. Okay. But that is not what uh, this statement says. This statement is saying only for the counters. Okay. Can use the key. So two things. The code is telling you that th there is an IM method which allows and people who are uh, authenticated or they have they clear the IM policy on they can get here. So A is wrong. Now B is saying that you know what only the root users because do not get confused by this guy here. They are saying that only the root users from this can use the key. See, if if that is the case, what does allow mean? Like, just apply a common sense. That cannot be the case because you got you are got to go through the IAM user permissions. Okay, and this would be wrong. Now, C is telling that all principles from this to use the key, but on S3 uh see s3 where where does uh like resources if you see it is star star means all resources so there is nothing in the code which says you can use the key but only on s3 no you can use it all all resources man all resources are star so that leaves with one option so we are left with one answer now is this correct because what it is trying to do is only principles from account this that have IAM policy applied so it goes through this allow stuff can use the key which is perfect putting a resources does not matter because it works for all resources so this would be my final answer actually if you see this code uh, like there is a really stupid way of answering this at a high level you see th there is an allow permission effect here of I am out of all these three options only this option has this stuff defined so this would be my answer like you can go that fast to answer this so let us look at the next question you know you are a security administrator and you are trying to configure s3 buckets and you need to ensure that encryption in transit, encryption at rest, and logging of all object retrievals in CloudTrail happens. Now, which of the following meets the requirements out of these? Now, let us go through the options here. The first one says that you, they will specify a secure transport true within the condition in S3 bucket policy. Now, there is an excellent article here it's a security blog from aws and it talks about encryption at rest and in transit so i would strongly recommend you to go through this you may pause this video and read these sections carefully so this stuff here looks correct option a so since we caught to ensure that encryption in transit occurs so this is what ensures that you see this documentation here we are trying to enforce encryption in transit and this is how it is done in the see it is it should use tls protocols and it will make use of secure transport condition on s3 buckets now see option b is saying you can enable a security group see security group is a solution to 
to prevent people getting in life just like your security guard in your apartment they will uh, take a call like who is a genuine visitor who's not so that is the role it will not help you encrypt okay now c c is talking about putting a default encryption for s3 bucket yes my friend this is required for encryption at rest once the file comes in it will be encrypted so they will set up a default encryption so we have addressed two out of the three requirements so now we have to choose something for this requirement here this requirement now d is talking about using watch logs see watch logs like i told you watch logs is for watching whether your ec2 instances or the aws resources what are the metrics of those resources kind of how it is behaving what are the, so the logs are related to the service and not in this case we are looking for encryption of the data so cloudwatch logs is not a solution for such things okay we want to understand logging of all object retrievals that means who the hell is accessing those apis or making those api calls to s3 buckets for retrieval so that is done through option e because e is telling you it it enables api logging of data events which will address this part of the question so once you enable api logging you will come to know the object retrievals that that data you will get to know in cloud trail now if you look at option f option f is straight cut wrong the reason i'm saying is this is only addressing versioning is the question talking about versions no man there is no requirement the requirement is encryption the requirement is logging of the object retrievals there is no versioning in question so these three would be my final answers by the way if you have not yet subscribed stay tuned subscribe to this channel you will get daily alerts multiple times a day of the latest content being pushed on cloud certifications majorly aws that is the amazon cloud google cloud that is gcp azure cloud these are the three top cloud products plus other products like snowflake which is very important as a part of the cloud migration strategies and so on you also have an option to click the join button which is mentioned below this video you can click that become a member bare minimum you should become a cloud kernel member or a cloud ninja which will give you access to so many additional questions when i say additional it does not mean those are not important those are a, those are a list of very important questions without that clearing certification would be difficult so i keep posting contents for subscribers as well as there are some reserved content for members together you would be assured that the chances of clearing the certification would be very high this brings us to the end of part 4 see you in the next part